heading out soon to go look for a mattress, which I'm excited about. When we were on our road trip, I had asked on Instagram for people's like input with their favorite mattresses because we knew we were gonna have some furniture here from the landlord, including like beds and stuff, but we didn't wanna be like sleeping in someone else's bed long-term. As much as it's been better than having an air mattress for the past month, um, it's just not a supportive bed. We put like a mattress topper and everything all over it, but like we need our own bed. We wanna invest in something that we can potentially take with us when we move from this apartment to like whatever our permanent home ends up being or to another apartment or whatever. So like we don't wanna just buy a random mattress that we don't really want and then waste our money. So we have been looking at a bunch of different mattresses based on people's like recommendation and everything and reviews and all that stuff. I'm sorry, the windows are open, but it's such a nice day. But you might hear some like extreme noise. Anyway, so we've narrowed it down to, we love the parachute mattress, the avocado mattress, the Helix, the Dream Cloud, I think the Sapa. Those are like our top five based on like review and all of that stuff. The cool thing about being in Los Angeles is that some of these places have storefronts with mattresses that you can go test. So I knew that Pasadena had parachute and avocado and I was like, we wanted to see Pasadena, make a morning of it, whatever. So we decided today to go to both of those stores and kind of check them out. So I thought I would take you with me and kind of share my thoughts on the mattress that we saw and what I think we're gonna do going forward. So let's do it. more based on like what we saw and felt. I kind of had a lot more options. They definitely had like a, they had like a cloud level. So they were like, this one's a three out of like one being the most cloudy of a bed and 10 being like the least cloudy of a bed. We actually ended up liking the just regular avocado green mattress that is like a seven on the cloudiness scale. I know the cloudiness is not, you know what I'm saying, softness scale. But the like luxury bed was so nice. It was so beautiful, but it was also like almost $7,000. <laughs> And that is not in a budget. No, that was a no. Just went around on all the different beds in increasing firmness. And I really liked the one that was like their avocado green mattress. It's a seven on the firmness scale. It felt really good and supportive. The sales associate was saying that it's better in terms of like, if you want a long-term mattress, like she was showing me this other one, which I wasn't even registering because it's like not really necessarily as long-term as what we're looking for. The same exact price as the parachute mattress for a King. They're both $25.99, which is still expensive, but like both have really good warranties. Just feel like if I'm going to spend money on a King size mattress to begin with, I want it to be quality. I want to really like it. And I want to be using it for a long time. The parachute sales associate did say that they offer a white glove service or they'll just drop it off and you can do it yourself. But it's just like not as whatever. The glove service will like remove your old mattress and all of that stuff and their price point for that was cheaper than the avocado's white glove service. I think it was like a hundred dollars cheaper. Avocado was having a sale and was offering like in-store discounts over online like an extra hundred dollars off online so I don't really know how they would factor out. They'd probably still pretty much even out. But overall I did like the avocado better and I really do like that it has like all organic. There's no flame retardant stuff in there and all of that so I, that really is appealing to me. Um, especially because Daisy sleeps with us and just like, I don't know, it just makes me feel a little bit better. And the third mattress, so that's like our top two, our, to our third, which is also like top three. They're all kind of the same, right? Didn't really get as much insight as I thought I would by going in person to see them, but I am glad that I tried the parachute versus the avocado because I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like, like them the same. And it was kind of nice to be like, okay, I definitely do like this one better. The parachute was really nice though. I mean, and she was talking about all the different pressure points and how it's like softer where your feet are, softer where your head is, more like firm for like your side sleeping pressure point stuff. The woman in avocado did suggest too that if I was a side sleeper to get the plush like topper, but she said that's something I could do like down the line, which is probably something that I would wait on. The next one that we're thinking about is the sun is killing me. <laughs> hey, it makes me feel like I'm doing like a, like a true crime documentary video. I don't know. Okay. Next one 
on our list that I've had a lot of good responses about. The Helix Midnight or Helix Midnight Lux. I think they have like a couple options. So we are looking at those as well. I would say probably that and the avocado are like my top two. And I think Steve feels the same. He said the same that he liked the avocado better than the parachute mattress. Daisy liked all of them. So she wasn't really helpful. I'll show you here like the frame that we want to get is like this kind of really want like a nice supportive headboard an upholstered bed frame again us getting this mattress and this bed frame is like what I care about putting my money into the couches that were here when we got here I don't need to replace them right now I don't need to replace the rug right now even though they're not like aesthetically my style I would rather put my money into what I'm doing the most, which is sleeping. <laughs> I'm wanting to be like comfortable and cozy in my bed, especially with like Steve working nights and stuff. I just want him to feel like really rested. And then, you know, just having a toddler is tiring. Co sleeping with a toddler is tiring. So the most rested I can feel, it's what I want to do. I just want to like make my room feel like a hotel, you know? So I would say avocado, helix, parachute. And then I haven't looked further into the dream cloud or the sofa, but those are also on my list to like research. Um, but I will let you know what I end up choosing. I'm trying to save a little bit more. Uh, I know there are financing options, but we really kind of prefer to just like paper things flat out if we can. I know there's things like a firm and all that now where it's like very similar. So we might do that if it's like not like any kind of financing where there's interest. So anyway, if you have a mattress that you love or swear by or that you have slept on as a guest or whatever, we would love to have your recommendation thrown into the ring even though I have a top five in my mind. I'm definitely still like open to suggestions. Let me know in the comments if you have anything that you love and other than that, I'll let you know when we make a final decision what we ended up going with. Okay, bye.